So we're gonna break the ice real quick and get to know each other. Hey, it really is. Is it you? I don't know. I'm the middle of the body. I don't know. Like a heat, but you ain't really dark like me. <laughs> so I reflect it, right? Yeah, you reflect it. You like kind of bright with the light. I don't burn though. I mean, I got a little melanin. No, don't don't play me. No, don't burn nobody. We ain't, we ain't trying to burn nobody. All right. All right. Okay, so we melt in the ice real quick. Who are right. you? What's your name? Um, they know me as Justin Mayweather and um, professional fighter, hip hop artist, and. Um, just doing my thing, 5-0, and uh, February 15th, we're looking to go 6-0 in uh, Kingston, Jamaica, then hopefully 7-0 in um, New Zealand, yeah, New Zealand, February 29th, so. Well, you got a lot to look forward to, that's good. You, you said your name was Justin Mayweather? You heard me. Okay. <laughs> What is your kin to the Mayweather family? Where do you where you play? Uh, Floyd Mayweather Sr. is my dad. So Floyd Jr. is my brother, Jeff, Roger, uh, then my uncles. Rest in peace to my other uncle, um, uh, the Arthur Mayweather. You know that was that was my guy. But that's also one of my uncles too. So. What could you say growing up? What it was like in the Mayweather family? I can't say that because I didn't I didn't grow up with them. I didn't know my dad till I was 19 years old. We gonna we gonna, we gonna get to that. But yeah, this is like 19 years old. So I didn't know who my dad was till I was 19 years old. Wow. So yeah, it, yeah. They, 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 so that's a crazy story right there. <laughs> so let's say when you got acquainted with everyone and you finally figured out who was who. How did you take that? And what period or point were you in your life that you were able to digest that? I mean, man, like, it was, it was, it was, uh, it was, like, kind of weird, though, like, because me personally, I didn't really, not to say I didn't care that it was Mayweather, like, my people or nothing like that, I just, I just wanted to know who my dad and my other side of my family was, because I just felt like it was kind of, like, taken away from me, like, you know, when you ain't got, you know what I'm saying, like, when you ain't got control over certain things and other people got control over you, then it's just like kind of weird. So like everybody was like, everybody was like, oh yeah, you Mayweather this and that or whatever. And but that 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 wasn't really the thing for me. The thing was like I didn't I didn't give a fuck if I, I didn't care if it was like a like a, like a bum under the bridge or something like that. I, that that the, the the money and the fame and all that that ain't really that ain't really whatever. So. so at this point in your life, they were already famous. What point of uh, Floyd's career was he in? I mean, they always kind of been famous, like a little bit, coming from where I'm from. Like the Mayweather from Grand Rapids, Michigan. That's where I was. So where are you from? That's what I was about to ask. Yeah, I'm from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Like the Mayweathers, the, the, the fighting Mayweathers or whatever. And um, yeah, they were already kind of famous. My dad fought Sugar Ray. Roger was a two-time world champion. Jeff was a world, I think, IBO champion. So like the, the, like the, the name was kind of like, of course, Floyd Mayweather Jr. He, he brought it to a whole another level you know what I mean able to get gems and pay-per-views and crazy amount of money and stuff like that but they were already kind of like established as a great family he just he just threw it like like you know how you got real good cake he just put cherries and icing and all kind of just extra bells and whistles on it so I mean they were already kind of established when I got in so so you I mean, being you but when I get when I came I think he was fighting um it was right before it was more like Zab Judah, before Oscar De La Hoya, but like around Zab Judah time, I think. Because I fought in the amateurs like a week before he fought somebody. So he wasn't as big as he was yet, though. You know what I'm saying? But he was still big. He was still best pound for pound fighter and all that, but he didn't have that notoriety mainstream. So. Just looking at you, you resemble them 100%. There was never a point when you hit. 15, 16, puberty, your face started transforming that you were like, damn, I look like. I don't like when, like when y'all be saying that. And I'm going to say y'all because you just said it. And um, because, like, I don't look in the mirror trying to look like somebody else it or think. I mean, you can't help Wait, it. let me tell my story. Dang. I'm trying to tell my story. Okay, look, go ahead. Dang. Dang. Man, you a host or you the interview person. Let me talk. I don't put no title on myself. Oh, you ain't got no title yet? <laughs> I don't do titles either. I think we could. Okay, explain what you were saying to me. Um, no, man, but I will say, like, my older sister, so to, to be totally honest, when I was like 15, 16, my older sister told me that they were my family, though. But I didn't find out to, like, get the DNA. We had a good DNA test. When I, like, we only got around to 19. But the only reason she told me was because I was just bigging him up so much. Like, it was crazy. Like, 
it was like, of course it ain't no bias, like, because I didn't even know that was, I didn't even know the Mayweather's from Grand Rapids, to be totally honest. I was a basketball player. I was running around doing my own thing, but I watched him fight a couple times, and I was just like, yo, this dude different. Like, this dude finna be like Muhammad Ali, Mike Tyson, da 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 da, -da. And my, I got a sister that's like 12 years older than me. And so she she got the background scoop that I didn't wasn't able to get. So, you know, I guess she was tired of me just talking about like it was just that's the only day I ever spoke about him, you know what I'm saying? And I was on her porch and she was just like, yo, why are you talking about your brother like that? Like I was just like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like like I'm like totally lost and confused because I already got I got two brothers on my mom and mom's side. So I'm like, what are you talking about? And but then I get so many flashbacks and stuff. Like when she told me I got so many flashbacks because Man, that's that's another story for but man, I'm telling you, man, it, it, so much stuff went through my head and I go back and look through stuff and I'm like, man, that's why this person said this or this is why this person said that. And then like I was in school in high school and then they was just like, man, they like they, you know, everybody making jokes and shit in school, or whatever. Oh, you look like this person, this lady. but then when they got to me, they like, yo, but like I'm not even joking. Like everybody like, we ain't joking. You look like Floyd though. Like that ain't even no funny, you know, nothing stuff and like so it was just weird. It was just real weird for me, man. It's just like, it's just been real weird. It's just been a real weird ride for me, man. It's just been very, very weird. And like, I don't know, man. Once I get to where I want to get and I can really sit back and look on it, man. But my journey ain't done yet. This movie ain't over yet. You know, I done came from roaches and rats to finding that, to getting shot, to getting my face split open. And, you know, and I'm still here. I'm still strong. I did battle raps. I'm making music. I'm fighting undefeated right now. Like, it's a lot of stuff going on with me, man. This story ain't over yet. So this just, this just, I, I don't know if it's the halfway point or about to be the end or this just the beginning. But once I get there, I'll look back on it for sure. Do you think that it's worked out in your favor to actually make you go through more experiences to build your character as a person? Or do you ever wish you would have known from jump? Uh... It's a double-edged sword, cause I think some 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 of the stuff is po some stuff is very positive, and but some of the stuff is like I think some of the stuff didn't turn me out to a better person. Like I think some like in certain aspects, yeah, certain aspects I became a little bit more like kind of not the person I thought I would be or wanted to be. But then again, when I look back at it, like how athletic I was when I was younger, I was always top three in anything. It was basketball, dodgeball, softball, football, whatever. Like once I learned the game or something, I was always one of the top of it. So like, and I'm a good fighter now. I'm like 32, but I'm a good fighter now. But I could have been a, nothing against my brother or nothing. I felt like I was a better athlete all around, so. But he's the greatest fighter like I seen. So like, don't mean I would have been a better fighter than him or anything like that. He could have still been, a, even though I feel like I'm better athletically. You know what I'm saying? Floyd says he wants to play basketball. So if we get down to basketball, you gonna smoke him? No, nah, Floyd, no, Floyd, Floyd, no, I could play like really good. Like I could play really. Everybody that played, like everybody in this gym that see me play, they know what's up with the basketball. I don't think nobody in this gym, like on the five on five, could could mess with me in basketball on here. And they even like they all basically know that though. You know what I'm saying? So ain't, I'm not saying something no, nobody don't know, but I'm just saying like I'm not saying I would be 50 and no 20 some world titles or anything like that. But I felt like I could have I could have had multiple world championships by now if I would have been under that tutelage and under that guidance and stuff like that. Because everybody like damn if they, like because I started fighting like at 19. Only reason I started fighting because I still wanted to do something athletically because I messed up in my college tryouts because I didn't take it serious and I still wanted to do something. And I just tried out the Golden Gloves, I ended up winning the state tournament. Then I've just been in it ever since. So it's just like, you know, I just think I could have been so much farther. But who to say, but who to say, like, I wouldn't have been dead by now? Like, you know what I'm saying? I could have just, you know what I'm saying? I could have got hit by a car doing something totally different or something. Like, so I can't say, you know, you got to take it is what it is. And um, you just try to take that and just try and be as best as you can. So for young men who are in your predicament or were in your predicament, what would you say to them? Um, I'm not going to say, well, it's not that, um, how would I put this? When you don't have a father, it changes a lot about you, right? So you could have had... Well, I grew up in a place where most of us didn't have our dads around. So, like, to me, it wasn't really nothing. Like, to me, it was a, I mean, it's sad to say it was a norm where I came from to, to not have our dads in our life. Like, I mean, a lot of people still kind of knew them, or some knew them and some didn't know. Like, but at the end of the day, our dads weren't around. Like, all my friends, except probably one, had their mom and dad in their life. All the rest of them, none of us have our dads. So I was, I was just like, it's just whatever. That's just, that's just what it is. And 
No, I can't say that though, because you gotta you gotta like what you like. I naturally love sports, so like, if my dad was around or not, and music, yeah, yeah. So like, that's what I naturally like to do. I, I mean. It wasn't like I was always playing basketball. I was always playing football. I, I, I used to I used to spar at like recreational centers and stuff like that when I was young. So like I was always doing it. I didn't even have a real father. I mean, don't get me wrong. My little brother and sister dad would been there since I was like two, and he helped me out with like little like stuff here and there. But like I, I, I you know I'm just gonna leave it right there on that one. But uh, I always was doing me. So my dad in my life and now all I, all I think I think would have helped is like I would have been closer in that position that, that my brother's in. So. Like, so you have a better relationship with him now? With who? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I got a good, I got a pretty, I got a good relationship with my dad. I actually live with my dad right now, you know. But, uh, it's, it, you know, you just can't get certain stuff back. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it ne I don't think it'll never be like how him and Floyd would be, or him and my sister would be, because they, you know, actually grew him up from the, from the ground up. And the stories behind that too, like, like, you no, know, this shit is like, it, yeah, even. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying, and so, so it just is what it is, and um, it just is what it is.